Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Mehdi Gozadeh. I'm a PhD student at the Software Engineering Lab of University of Mons. And uh, here I'm going to present the results of our study with Dr. Alexandre Dicon and Professor Tom Mens about the evolution of software, uh, evolution of CI systems entitled on the rise and fall of CI services in GitHub. Uh, with the advent of collaborative software development, the steps to produce software is not like before anymore. It includes extreme programming and agile development, and many developers contribute to the code remotely and asynchronously. In this approach, it's required to build and execute tests every time team members contribute to the source code. This will result to discovering uh, in discovering uh, bugs and integration issues much earlier in the software development software development process, and it helps the uh, development team to integrate some of the some quality metrics like uh, test coverage and deploy product or release versions automatically. And nowadays, most of these uh, these uh, tasks, uh, exhaustive tasks, are performed by CI/CD tools and services. There are several different CI/CD tools and services, namely Cruise Control, Jenkins, Travis, uh, Circle CI, Azure, and recently GitHub Actions. Uh, why CI/CD tools are important to study? Nowadays, they are on separate part of software development. They are widely used uh, and quite prevalent, and uh, uh, analysis of our data set shows half of repositories benefit from at least one CI tool. Understanding their usage specification trend uh, make it possible to have better choice. And also it's interesting for CI CD service providers. What's the status of uh, studies about CI CD tools? Uh, there are several uh, studies regarding CI tools in GitHub and uh, considering the popularity of Travis, most of them targeted Travis. There are some other studies about the impact of uh, continuous integration in general, but given that GitHub Actions is recently introduced, there are few studies about it. And uh, one of them, as you can see, submitted to Sainer this year and presented three, two days ago by Pablo. Uh, why GitHub Actions uh, is so popular? GitHub Actions is fully integrated with GitHub. This eliminates to the, uh, the need for external continuous integration service. It's trendy, very easy to set up and use, and directly accessible to any GitHub repository to action tab. It comes with a large marketplace. Uh, allowing repository maintainer to select the, the actions they need. It also allows custom actions. And GitHub Actions provide a generic mechanism for automating anything in GitHub development workflow, allowing to automate not only commit-related activities, but also activities related to comment, issue, pull request, and et cetera. Uh, all these reasons call for further studies of CI, especially GitHub Actions. Uh, we conducted a, a longitudinal study of GitHub repositories to answer these research questions. How did GitHub CI landscape evolve? What are the most frequent co-usage of CIs? How frequently repositories migrated from a CI to another? What was the impact of introduction of GitHub actions on CI landscape? Uh, in order to be able to study CI usages in collaborative software development platform, we needed a data set. Uh, we chose NPM, which is most popular package registry for JavaScript, TypeScript languages. We used a package registry API to uh, download 1.6 million scope packages in NPM, and we uh, only found 800,000 of uh, them to have a valid uh, GitHub repository address, we managed to clone 676k repositories. And we excluded repositories that are fourth uh, and not active in the last year of observation period. And we looked for presence of con configuration file in the rest. And we found around 100,000, uh, 190,000 of uh, CI usages in around 92,000 repositories. In this data set, uh, we are looking to answer these research questions. So 
uh, how did the GitHub CI landscape evolve? We found uh, 20 type of CIs in the data set and we kept only seven CIs that are covering 99% of CI usages. The figure shows the overall usage of CIs over time and uh, we use different uh, scale in the upper part and lower part. Uh, we observed that Travis was uh, the dominant CI for about nine years and by introduction of actions in the less than in less than 18 months, uh, it, it's taking over the role of Travis. And uh, together at the end of observation period, the Travis and GitHub actions dominate the CI landscape and they are used by 90% of all repositories with a CI. Uh, to check the adoption of CIs is changed if the adoption of CI is changing over time. We analyzed the CI churn in the last three years. And the adoption rate uh, of CI, uh, Travis, Circle CI, and Appear and Azure decreased. Uh, thanks to this figure, we can uh, see that some of CIs, despite there are lots of repositories that are adopted these CIs, at the same time, there are lots of repositories that stop using them. Uh, we observe nearly no discontinuation for uh, GitHub Actions. And we also observe discontinuation rate uh, is increased for some of the CIs. Uh, we found 20% of repositories containing more than one CI during their lifetime. And uh, that means either uh, they have used multiple CI simultaneously or they migrated from one CI to another. So in order to uh, have a better understanding of repositories with multiple CIs, we analyzed co usage of these CIs. Uh, we consider a co usage of two CIs where uh, the repository uses both CIs for a common period of at least 30 days. We found 40,335 uh, co-usages in uh, around 11,000 repositories. Uh, we present uh, in this figure, uh, we show the proportion of co-usages we found uh, for each of the, each pair of CI A and B relative to the old repositories in involving A. In the first column, we report a uh, proportion of cases with no co-usage for all CIs except uh, a prior more than half of repositories using them do not use another CI uh, at the same time. And uh, only 6% of uh, repositories using a prior do not involve other CIs. Most privileges is, is uh, with Travis and SQL CI actions. We found that uh, reasons for this was uh, in the past, some of the CIs like Travis didn't have uh, support for Windows build and Appear was the only major CI uh, offering Windows build up to 2018. And at the same time, Appear was known to have a strong limitation in this in its free plan. That was the reason for, for not using uh, uh, singly, uh, simply uh, Appear. For further detail in core usage, uh, I invite you to read the paper. Uh, uh, we have also analyzed how frequently repositories migrated from a CI to another. We consider a fuzzy threshold of 30 days to capture migrations. For example, when a CI is abandoned uh, only a few days uh, before uh, a new one is int uh, introduced, uh, or when a previous CI is abandoned a few days after a new one is introduced. We detected 40,290 uh, such cases in um, of migration in uh, 30,000 of different uh, repositories. Uh, in this table, we show the, the number of and the number and proportion of migration toward and from different uh, CIs. Migration toward actions and Azure account for uh, one fourth of repositories using them, and uh, most migration are from. Uh, Travis and toward action. Uh, this figure summarizes our findings regarding different migrations, which is presented as a heat map uh, in the paper. Uh, we observed that Travis provided the overwhelming repositories of uh, overwhelming 
overwhelming majority of repositories uh, that migrated to another CI, regardless of target CI. Uh, GitHub actions proportionally represent the vast majority of target of migrations, regardless of this considered uh, source CI. And uh, GitHub Actions affected up to 96% of migrations away from Azure. Also, after Travis, the second most frequent uh, source of migration to Azure is Appear. Nearly one third of migrations toward Azure originate from Appear. And Travis uh, the, uh, is the, most, uh, the second most frequent uh, target of uh, migration originating to SQL CI. Also, Travis represents up to 90%, 93% of migration to our CI. Uh, and in the last research question, we investigated the impact of introduction of GitHub Actions on CI in landscape. To do so, we uh, use a statistical analysis of regression discontinuity to design. Uh, the purpose of RDD is to see how normal trend in something is affected by the presence of an event. So we use it uh to in this technique to analyze the effect of introduction of action on the usage of other ci uh, the result of our analysis shows a statistically significant effect uh, of introduction of actions on the usage of travis circle ci and azure um, as you can see the trend uh, in the use of these ci's have been changed after the introduction of action Uh, what happened to Travis? Um, although the number of discontinuation is increasing after the introduction of actions, uh, but the peak is very uh, strange here. Uh, we investigated the reason. We understand the uh, to understand the reason uh, um, in news and blogs, and we found that not only there is a change in the free plan of Travis but also Travis has made change in configuration and uh, caused a lot of repositories to stop using it. And we found that most of these repositories migrated to actions. Uh, we found uh, qualitative, uh, we have found qualitative evidence that showing uh, these important changes in GitHub CI landscape and the fact that we uh, have observed there is a decline in use of Travis and there is an increase in the use of actions. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, due, that is due to a combination of many different reasons. For example, Travis change, uh, has changed its free plan, uh, pricing plan and uh, company policy the reliable, has relied, reliability issues, security issues, and uh, there is a lack of innovation in Travis. Uh, in the last few years. And uh, also GitHub is fully integrated into GitHub. GitHub Actions is fully integrated into GitHub, easy, easy to set up and use. It has a large marketplace of reusable actions and uh, it's also it's also adds automation beyond the CI only, uh, leading many repository, many, many people to go to uh, uh, there by as a default choice. Uh, as a future work, we aim to conduct a qualitative, qualitative study to, in order to understand the reasons that drove the developer, drove developers to use uh, multiple CI simultaneously and implication of doing so uh, to identify the reasons and benefit of migrations from a given CI to another one, and to create a recommendation model to suggest repository maintainers when to complement a given CI and by which one as well as when to, and how to migrate to another CI and which one. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, I would be happy to answer if you have any questions.